You came in with the breeze on Sunday morning. You sure have changed since yesterday. G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the crude blowback. And uh, yeah, crude is right. Look at this thing. So, like the pipe guns in the vanilla game, this thing appears to be coupled together through little bits of wood and metal found throughout the wasteland. And yeah, it's got a very makeshift feel to it, which is nice. So it's a raider gun for raider characters. That's why we have rain. Anyways, moving to the receivers. Yes, I should probably mention this is a highly customizable standalone weapon with some animations. They're nice and subtle changes of the combat rifle animations. We'll get to those soon. But for the receivers, this thing is chambered in 45 ACP as standard. You can get an automatic receiver or semi-auto receiver for that. You can swap that down for the 38 special if you find yourself a little bit shy on this sort of mid-level pistol or bullet. Or you could put 308s in here, which, um, yeah, the 308s have a little bit of power to them. I'm actually wondering whether this thing could actually hold up to the energy being released when a 308 is fired. I'm going to wager, yes, we'll be fine. So we're going to chuck this with a automatic 308 receiver there, and we'll move on. This thing's definitely not going to explode in our face, not at all. Okay, so for the barrels, we'll get a little bit more range, although less accuracy out of a longer barrel, so we'll go for that. And for the optics, right now we've got the iron sights, which kind of reminds me of the uh, iron sights you get on the creation club little uh, combat shotgun or the pipe shotgun but yeah probably a, just a custom asset maybe that's just a retextured or um, different looking pipe iron sight but yes we can chuck on some reflex sights these aren't the pipe reflex sights this appears to be from the combat rifle slash shotgun the scopes and the reflex sight here are just uh, recycled from the um, Railway Rifle, which is a nice use of vanilla assets. They definitely suit this weapon well. I kind of like how that scope sits too. But we're going to make this one a... We'll, we'll go to the circle, actually. You're going to make this one with a reflex sight because it's automatic. We won't get too much use out of a scope. And for the muzzle, we'll definitely go for a suppressor there for the damage benefits as well as the stealth benefits. And we'll go for a recoil compensating stock, even though that thing looks... Ooh, would you really want to rest that on your shoulder whilst you're firing a thing? Keep in mind, this thing's going to be kicking a little bit with the 308, so yeah, that's probably going to dig into your shoulder a bit. That's not nice. Anyways, moving on from that, we can put a big old drum magazine in there. I don't know how you're going to fit 100 um, 308 rounds in there, but we're just going to use some TARDIS technology, I suppose. And last but not least is a legendary effect. We will not use this. And that is our crude blowback right there. I'll create a couple more of these, and I'll see you in Gunners Plaza. Pretty sure I installed mods to stop that happening, Todd Howard. Would you care to explain why that's still happening? But as you can tell, this thing does look pretty good, despite being a cobbled together mess of a weapon in third person as well. It's got some good size to it. That's our sniper one with just a scope. And this is our SMG one with a mag and a rapid auto receiver. We'll get to those as we need them. Right now we've got one with a suppressor and an automatic 308 receiver. So let's hope this thing doesn't explode in my face. Nope, looks like we're doing fine with it. So yeah, looks like we've got luck. Um, so despite having a 100 round mag here, we're probably going to reload a little bit more than we really ought to. But yes, we're doing a pretty good job on these gunners. 345 damage with the sneak attack criticals and we can deal them at a rate which um, kills them very quickly Don't have to have an extremely high rate of fire when you've got a weapon that can deal sneak attack criticals like this I'm also feeling that this thing is very accurate with its slow rate of fire You don't usually get a lot of mods with slow firing heavy hitting weapons or at least heavy hitting because of um, sneak attack criticals But yes, um, that appears to be what this weapon is and we'll get a look at that reload animation it's like the combat rifle, but as you can tell, instead of pulling the bolt back by gripping onto it, you just wrap your index and middle finger around it, and then it's pulled back by the spring. So yeah, does that mean it's blowback operated? Maybe I should do some more research, and by research I just watch um, more of the, um, the Forgotten Weapons videos, because yeah, he actually studies the internals of the weapons. It's actually kind of cool. Right, we'll move over to our sniper one here with our scope from the oh you survived that well you didn't survive the second shot but yes this one's got the scope from the good old railway rifle and uh yeah unlike some other weapons this thing appears to be very very accurate with its scope there so we can hit exactly where we're pointing at which is always fun it's always good using weapons that sort of shoot where you can point them and i'm um, throwing shade there at the oh that's only a conscript 
He went down very quickly. And then Captain Bridget comes in for the no in slow motion and takes a bullet and gets staggered by a sniper. Okay, we're detected now. We'll bring out our super fast fire rate SMG. And this is how you lose a lot of um, money in terms of how friggin' expensive this ammo is um, compared to how much da damage it does. I think this thing might be outclassed by the submachine gun there and the sound cat caught up just then. Go for a crit there. Righto, not impressed by this thing firing the 45 bullets. Although we got a nice staggerer there, which is kind of good. Good old commando perk putting in work, but it looks like using this thing in its 308 form is what's going to do the best. As you can tell, without the sneak attack criticals, the gunners can stand up to a lot more 308s, which is a little bit of a problem because we are losing out a little bit on damage. But yeah, this thing is, seems to be working as expected. Didn't expect it to be too much better than the pipe guns, but it seems to be holding its own pretty well. We are getting that 50% damage penalty on very hard, so that'll explain why this thing's damage isn't quite what it feels like it should be, but that's fine. We'll switch back over to our sniper now, and we'll snipe the rest of them. So I'm actually really impressed with his weapon sounds. The, um, it kind of sounds futuristic to my mind, which is probably not what everyone thinks of it, but yeah, I don't know. It, it sounds really strange, but I really like the sound of it. It's got, it's got a nice thump to it, you know? Okay, so it looks like with the, uh, the sneak attack criticals, this thing is not really a fast killer, which is, again, it's okay. This I didn't expect this thing to be a top tier weapon. Ah, uh, screw it. We're going uh, full raider. We'll just charge up to these guys with a slow firing weapon and then kill them like that. And looks like we can do a little bit of good damage at range with that. I had a one earlier struggle because I did have to record this twice over now because I found out after recording that my mic had gone a little bit on the um, too loud side. I installed an update for Shadow Play and it just screwed up all of, all of my mic settings. So it was kind of like peeking throughout it and it was terrible. Anyways, we'll move on to something else. Go to Dunwich Borers. Righto, so here we are outside of Dunwich Boroughs, we've got our sniper, we should probably reload the bloody thing. And yes, the last time I was here, I was a little bit on the crook side, I had the flu, and um, we had that anti-material rifle, where you'd point right at, at people with it, and it wouldn't hit them because, I don't know, maybe the sight was a little bit off, but as you can tell, we can hit exactly what we are shooting at, which is great. Um, it also works that we've got a um, hit-scan weapon, so... Yep, as soon as these guys start running around all crazy like, we'll probably just go for some cheap VAT shots because I haven't seen this thing, how it performs in VAT, so we'll just go ahead and pop a cheap kill there. That's a scum, we'll get a bit of use out of the penetrator perk there. Punch right through that metal wall there, which is good. I guess a 308 could do that, right? The gun still hasn't fallen apart. Maybe a way to balance... Oh, wow, that raid has just fallen way off. I wonder if he's getting full damage from that. I think I just killed him because that XP sort of showed up after he fell down. If it's anything like Skyrim, it'll be um, the full damage is calculated once I've grinded to a halt. So maybe that's what happened there. Okay. So we're in a pretty decent spot here. We've got these raiders coming up to us and none of them are really in a position to really kill me unless I attract them by missing them a heaps of times. Like that. Okay, I actually meant that to happen because I want to use this thing again. Since we're not going to be fighting gunners, these guys should be a little bit more squishy. And this loud thing will probably be a little bit more effective. It's marginally better, but nothing to really write home about. If you're going to use this thing, don't ever use it in anything other than 308 for any sort of end game operations there. I can see the merit in using it in the smaller calibers for an early game, though. This thing would perform quite well for that, so that's nice. But you can get away with using this thing at end game levels with a suppressor. Make sure you've got Ace Operator because that extra 25% damage is going to do you very well. Mixed with the stealth upgrades, you can do pretty well with this thing. Righto, there's a Raider Veteran there. We'll shoot her in the face. Don't have a crit there, unfortunate. But we'll go ahead and uh, kill you. Now, one of the things I've heard commenters go off about is how many female NPCs that I see shooting at. I got a um, face replacer, and it just seems to make all of the gunners, or just a lot of them, in proportionate amount to what they should be in the vanilla, to uh, just it makes them all female, which is kind of interesting. I'd, I'd really like some uh, gender balance back, please. More dudes, please. 
I want to make use out of my Black Widow perk, please. But yeah, um, maybe I should chase up a little fix for that. Maybe there's one that makes dudes look better. So you can have, like, everyone in the Commonwealth, despite living in a hellhole wasteland, everyone looks like they're, like, supermodels. But <laughs> maybe that doesn't make a lot of sense. But screw it. Maybe it's something for the women to look at. Just kidding, no women watches my videos. Anyways, I'll shut my mouth, we'll go in here. Righto, here we are in Dunwich Borers for real. I don't think we'll be using that uh, 45 ACP shooting one again. I think we can cheese through this place just easily enough with our 308 automatic thing. We're going to see how fast we can run through this. Probably don't have to pop a reload, so that's definitely going to speed up our time to kill on these guys or time to run through this thing. Okay. See, this is why a stealth build is always needed. Now, in Fallout 76, you probably can't get sneak attack criticals on other players, but still, if you can get away with doing shit like this, even sneak critting past caution, you know you're going to go for it. You have to go for it. Maybe they'll um, rebalance sneak and make it not as deadly, so you can't just become some sort of invisible ninja shadow warrior that can't ever be seen hence invisible so yeah maybe they'll rebalance that because i feel like that at this point that's a little bit on the on the broken side oh my god i just referenced that stupid emo band again that's okay i got my comeuppance in the in the form of my own stupidity as i burned myself up i kind of wish i think in new vegas there's a gas explosion that'll knock you off your feet kind of like a ragdolling i wish the gas explosions did that because that actually make them seem a little bit deadly because you have to watch your play a rag doll around, maybe glitch around a little bit for um, kicks and giggles, and then they'll get up, and then maybe only after then you can actually start fighting, so they'll make you vulnerable for a while, which um, makes a lot of sense. Okay, so some teleporting ghouls later, and probably going to get flanked from the back too. No, not today. Well, that's lucky. I like how, little, how, how the web texture sort of survived or was visible through my little cloak thing that happens when you crouch. Turn those off. Hmm. No sneaky ghouls attacking me from the back this time, which is nice. Right, I will tear through whatever ghouls are around here. I remember when I was uh, grinding to get um, all of the perks in Fallout 4 on my original PS4 character. I basically ran this place as many times as I could. As soon as it was um, uncleared from being cleared, I'd run back in there because I realized that feral ghouls are... Uh, they're weak, right? And they give you a lot of XP when you kill them. Um, charred ones, not so much. You actually have to work a little bit for that kills. But um, I entered Dunwich Borrows at a level which would see lots of Withered Feral Ghoul spawn. So they're like, they're piss weak. They're like paper. You can cut right through them. And they'll give you a lot of XP for it, which is a nice cheap way of getting XP. Also that and many, many runs throughout the Glowing Sea, which sort of doubled as legendary farming as well. I think I had hundreds and hundreds of just legendary items that I've hoarded in some sort of crate and sanctuary. And it was that much that the game would easily drop like 10 frames when I'm there. I played the shit out of that file. I got maybe a thousand hours on that file alone, which is probably unheard of, at least on consoles. You, you would not have a lot of situations quite like that. And even on a PC situation, that's the time where you'd probably want to um, delete the file and start over, because even that would affect your performance there. None of my settlements on my PC save files actually have anything attached to them. Maybe I just did that to um, pass time. But anyways, that's enough of me talking about stuff that really doesn't relate to this weapon. That was the crude blowback. I think you get the point of this thing. It's a weapon which um, looks... Well, it's a lot deadlier than it looks. This thing looks like it's about to fall apart. But no, it can actually hold its own. It's better than your pipe gun. So yeah, that's a bonus too. So there's incentive to use this thing. Great for your Raider characters. Um, if you'd like to see this in your game, check out the description. I think it's on Xbox One, not entirely sure. If it is, this mod's been out for a while. Um, it should be if the modder has, or Axis has um, sort of put his mind to putting on an Xbox One. So it'll be there if it is. And also this character is um, on all platforms. So no one can miss out on her. And maybe your reign in your game will lack using the crude blowback. Who knows? Thank you for watching, guys.